Hello my fellow youtubers and welcome to Battle Dragon RC Today I'm gonna do a little bit of fallout guys We are going to go to Far Harbor And we are gonna do a mission called Data Recovery On this mission I'm gonna be using my legendary weapons And also a legendary arm piece that makes me invisible so on this one I'm gonna call it Predator I don't know if you guys watched that movie but it's really awesome where he camouflaged on the jungle and he pretty much tried to kill Arnold Schwarzenegger but um on this mode I go invisible and they cannot see me guys so I can go here and just merc all of these guys and they will have no idea what happened to them So we have a legendary trapper here guys, so he is one of the strongest ones on this group and as you can see my rifle doesn't let him, doesn't even let him breathe, he's done, he's done for guys. Uh, there's gonna be a couple more guys that are gonna come out, we're just gonna clear them out and then uh, we are going to go and inspect, see what they left for us. Here's this guy that's dead, but for some reason it shows that he's still swimming, which is pretty funny. Uh, it's a glitch in Fallout. Uh, Fallout has a lot of glitches. Actually, I had to take a couple of videos because I got free out of the game and I had to reset the game. So it took me a little bit to actually do this mission. But here we go, guys. He is dead on the water, still swimming, guys. So we are just going to collect, we are old town house, we discovered this house right now. I'm going to try to get 100% on uh, Fire Harbor guys, I have almost 100% on any other map except Fire Harbor and Nuka Cola World. So we are going to do this missions over here and try to finish this game and get 100% on. Let's see what this guy has, anything good, he has a legendary arm piece. I'm not really excited about arm pieces or arm in general, you know, armor. I like guns, so I like to see legendary guns on the game when I kill some legendary dude, but for some reason they love giving legendary armor.
So after doing a little bit of exploring on this house and see what they left us, I'm going to take a little nap with my girl Piper. Um, oh, a chest. I should be chest. <laughs> what am I saying? A safe. We are going to try to unlock this safe, guys, with our ping, which I do not have it upgraded, so it won't break. So I have to be really careful because it will break. But I still have over 900, over 999. As you yes. can see, over 99 pins. It's probably 100 plus I have. But anyway, we are going to see what it is. And after this, like I was saying, we are going to take a nap. The reason being is because every time you sleep with a companion, you get an additional XP, guys. Uh, and this is XP boost. So you, whatever mission you do within, I, I don't know how long it is, 15, 20 minutes, I don't know. It counts for extra XP. So we are gonna keep exploring, guys, and we are gonna continue our mission. Here we find two poor rag stacks. But she said, I didn't have too much deer, just radiator deers. Uh, they're two headed. And there's an albino one, guys. Albinos are really rare. Uh, they always give a little bit of extra meat or extra whatever they drop. So you'll get double the stuff from it. And like I said guys we are in predator mode we are going to go invisible again and clear out these ferrules guys there's a couple of ferrules that have no idea what's going to happen to them we're going to mark them over here pretty much explode them and look for some more oh there's another guy taking a nap sorry dude are you gonna have to wake up the hard way right, so I can put you back to sleep? <laughs> he even got in rage mode and that didn't do absolutely nothing for him. Alright, that's my critical meter going up because I got lucky. That's one of the perks. Like I said guys, they love giving armor pieces, so here they gave me another legendary piece, which I'm not too excited about. I would have preferred some kind of gun, guys. We are gonna keep exploring and we'll see what's going on. Nice. We found another chest, guys. Another chest. Uh, I keep calling it chest. Another safety. Another safe, guys. And we are going to see what's going on next.
we keep exploring guys you guys gotta try to find aluminum guys aluminum is really good so you guys find aluminum just grab it it's one of the rarest things on fallout 4 here we go again guys we are going in on stealth mode predator mode like i call it and we are going to get rid of these trappers which have no idea we're here goes his head huh that's the term of saying he's losing his head <laughs> all right guys so we are going to keep going in uh, there's something else going on in there let's find out guys let's look see what can we find Over another little town guys and that's gonna give on just a little bit of more XP here we're gonna take another map and whatever we do after this is gonna go into some even more XP guys It seems like we cleared out that little village and we found this oil spell. What the heck is going on here, guys? There's a lot of oil in the water, and there are the storage drives. Uh, we found two. There's some weird machine there. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, we need the key. We need a key, guys, and that's weird. It doesn't let me unlock it. Hmm. Looking around for the key. There's more stuff here that we can grab. Oh boy, I think I think Piper fell in the water, guys. The water's pretty hot. Only opens with a key. And she is getting hurt. Anyway, I guess we cannot get this thing open. We might have to go back and ask the guy to send us. To see if we can get the key for it. Cause that looks bad guys, don't fall on it. You'll burn. Going back for a kitty, guys. We encounter a legendary glowing wolf. Everything that's glowing, guys, is a little more dangerous than regular. Uh, we are able to manage, guys. We are able to manage and continue with our mission, guys. There's a guy on the other side of the world that I have a penetration perk which allow me to do damage through walls guys it's pretty awesome so let's see if they left us something good let's see what this legendary guy did another piece of armor guys no you see guys there's three legendary things i killed so far and none of them had a weapon this is crazy guys so after we check a look in our pit boy, we see that we have one available perk, guys. We are going to use it. I'm trying to figure out what we use it on. Since I have pretty much all of them. Good. As you can see, I have played this game so much. 100, 
brought me to a level and I'm still not even close to completing every single task. I'm gonna use it on next strength, strength guy so I can carry a little bit more. Now we are going back to Arcadia to return the drives to this guy Farda and see what he has to say. Those storage drives you asked for. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, just the two? Really? I somehow thought there were three. You didn't say anything about a certain number of them. Is there a problem? Hmm? No, no problem. Not really. I just. I really was rather sure there had been three. Well, you did your part, so I'll do mine. Thank you for recovering these. <clears throat> yes? Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway. I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. So there we go guys, we return the devices and we definitely see there's something fishy going on. Thank you for watching guys and we'll uncover whatever comes next on the next videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time.